And yep, this is the spot. <laughs> no way. So, if you're a Tesla fan, you've probably seen those mind blowing videos of FSD version 14.1. The way it parks itself, it's just so precise, right? It's a massive leap forward. But it begs the question how on earth did they pull this off? Well, the answer, believe it or not, is buried in a newly published patent. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're popping the hood to break down the tech that makes it all happen. And that really brings us to the million dollar question, doesn't it? The one on every investor's and, frankly, every driver's mind. I mean, we're talking about this new park-to-park -park feature. The car can literally navigate a whole parking lot by itself. This isn't just a fancy parking assist anymore. This feels like a genuine step towards real autonomy. So, is this it? Have they finally solved autonomous parking? Just look at the kind of environment we're talking about here. This is straight from the patent, and it shows you just how complex these parking lots can be. The goal? For the car to navigate this entire maze and park perfectly all on its own. So, in this explainer, we're going to deconstruct the tech that makes it tick. We're going to find out what the real secret sauce is. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first, we really have to appreciate just how difficult this problem is. You know, for years, autonomous parking has been this huge headache for the entire auto industry. It's nothing like highway driving, which is relatively straightforward, right? You're just managing speed and staying in your lane. Parking? Oh man, that's a whole different ballgame. You're talking about navigating super tight, complex spaces where you've got obstacles just centimeters away. It's truly a game of millimeters. So the core problem has always been this really tough trade-off. You're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. On one side, you've got the expensive stuff like LiDAR and radar. Yeah, they give you amazing precision, but they also tack on thousands of dollars to the price of the car, not to mention the weight and complexity. And on the other side, you've got your basic cameras. They're cheap, for sure, but historically, they've only given you this low-res, kind of blocky picture of the world, which is just not good enough when you're trying to squeeze into a tight spot. And here's the kicker. Even those super expensive sensors aren't a silver bullet. Just look at this point cloud. This is basically what a LiDAR system sees. You notice all those gaps and the random stray data points all over the place? It's what we call sparse and noisy. It is a long, long way from the clean, perfect 3D model you'd want if you're going to confidently navigate a tight parking space. All right, and here's the other side of that coin. This is what you get from the cheaper, simpler camera systems, a binary voxel model. All it does is tell you, yep, this cube of space is full, or nope, it's empty. It's literally like trying to build a model of the real world using only Lego bricks. Everything is blocky, and you lose all those crucial, subtle details, the curves, the angles, everything you need for precision parking. So, this is the big question. How did Tesla solve this puzzle? Well, their patent lays out a totally new way of thinking about it. They figured out a way to build an incredibly rich, high-fidelity 3D model of the world using, get this, only the standard 2D cameras that are already on the car. And wow, this picture just says it all, doesn't it? Think back to that spotty point cloud and those clunky Lego blocks we just saw. Now look at this. This is the world as Tesla's new system sees it. It's not sparse, it's not blocky, it's a smooth, continuous, and super detailed reconstruction of everything around it. The quality here is just, it's on a whole other planet. So the magic behind this is a technology called a signed distance field, or SDF for short. Now, try not to think of it as just a map of stuff. It's more like a map that has physics baked right into it. Every single point in the 3D space around the car knows exactly how far it is from the nearest surface. It creates this incredible, invisible force field of information that the car can use to navigate with pinpoint accuracy. This visualization from the patent breaks it down beautifully. So, imagine you're a point in space. If you have a negative number, it means you're inside a solid object, like a wall or another car. If you have a positive number, you're out in the open air. And what about zero? Well, zero is the magic number. That's the exact surface of the object. This system creates this smooth gradient, this, this invisible map of distances that gives the car a really rich, almost intuitive feel for its surroundings. Okay, so this entire system really stands on three pillars, three core innovations that are laid out in the patent. Let's break down the secret sauce and see how it all comes together. All right, so the recipe for this secret sauce has three main ingredients. Number one, they had to figure out how to create these incredible 3D distance maps using nothing but camera images. No expensive LiDAR, no radar. Number two, they needed a really clever trick to get super high resolution detail without needing, you know, a giant supercomputer in the trunk. 
and number three, they had to teach the AI to not just see shapes and objects, but to actually understand what they are, to know that a white line on the ground is a parking space divider. So here's the big picture, the blueprint from the patent. I know, it looks a little intimidating, but the core idea is actually pretty simple. Over on the left, you've got the raw camera images going in. That's your input. All that stuff in the middle, that's the AI brain, the neural network doing its thing. And what comes out on the other side is that beautiful, rich 3D model we were just talking about. It's basically a machine for turning flat pictures into a deep 3D understanding of the world. Okay, let's talk about that second innovation, efficiency. Because making a map this detailed could totally melt a normal computer. So instead of trying to calculate everything everywhere, the system is smart. It works with these bigger 33 centimeter cubes. And here's the brilliant part. It only does the hard math to find the exact distance at the eight corners of each cube. Then it uses a clever bit of math, it's called interpolation, to basically connect the dots and figure out the distance for any point inside the cube. It's an incredible shortcut that gives you high-res results without the high-risk cost. So let's put it all together and look at the full algorithm. This is more than just seeing. This is the car's actual thought process. You can see it here in this flowchart. First, it asks itself, am I even in a place where I can park? Then it builds that amazing 3D map of the space using the SCF system. Once it has the map, it starts looking around for specific valid parking spots. And finally, it shows those options to the driver so you can pick one. It's a really logical, step-by-step -step decision-making process. Okay, so that's the technology, which is pretty cool on its own. But what does this all mean for the business, for the strategy, for anyone investing in Tesla or this space? This is where it gets really important. All right, here's the bottom line for investors. By getting LiDAR-like results from a couple of cheap cameras, Tesla just dodged thousands of dollars in hardware costs on every single car. This isn't something you have to buy on a new model, it's a software update. They can push it to the whole fleet, boom, overnight. This unlocks maneuvers that their rivals simply can't do without slapping on expensive sensors. And they do it while actually reducing cost and complexity. That, right there, is how you create that it just works magic and build a massive competitive mode. And this quote, taken straight from the patent filing, really just nails it. The whole point is to make this incredibly detailed environmental awareness practical for everyday consumer cars. We're not talking about a gimmick on a $150,000 luxury sedan. We're talking about a cheap, effective solution that can go into every single car they make. That is how you scale. That is how you win. And that leaves us with a pretty fascinating question to chew on, doesn't it? We've just seen how a smart, vision-only system can solve the ridiculously tricky problem of parking, a task that requires immense precision. So if they can crack that nut, what comes next? What other complex, messy, real-world navigation problems are suddenly on the table? Now that's something to think about.